Hi everyone, before we get started, let's go over the materials that you will need for this project. This vine is not only aesthetically pleasing, but it's also a foraging and reset toy. The rosebuds especially are amazing for hiding treats in, so you could put a small treat inside the little folds of the rosebud, and that's a great enrichment for your glider. And then the leaves themselves uh, can be pulled out by your gliders and brought back to their sleeping pouch for nesting. For this project, you will need two C-links with link locks, at least four feet of three millimeter plastic chain, anti-pill fleece that you will cut into a few different shapes, and I'll go over those in the video. Some stretchy pieces of fleece will be used to tie your rosebud. You'll have colorful pieces for the rosebuds. These rosebuds can be in whatever color you want and as many different colors as you want. Pieces for the leaves and pieces for the stretchy leaves that will be tied around the rosebud. I don't know exactly how much of the fleece that you need to buy. I'm sorry about that. I did not measure. I hope you enjoy. Hi everyone, welcome to Sugar Glider Diaries. I'm Kimberly. Today I'm going to do a quick video showing you how you can make your very own no sew rosebud vine. I do have another video that I did a, a year ago talking about this, but this one I like even better. Same technique though, so if you already have done that, you probably don't need to watch this video. <laughs> this is how the one I just got done doing turned out. And if you want to make the same thing, I'll walk you through how to do it. But first, I want to show you what came in my Morgs and Friends subscription box. So if you have not already signed up for your Morgs and Friends subscription box, you can access all that information in the description box below, including a discount code for your first month's subscription. So just like any other monthly subscription, this is an automatic fee that you pay each month and you get a surprise gift sent to your doorstep. If you sign up using my discount code, not only do you get a discount the first month, you also get a little extra gift. It's not always one of these little honey things, but that's what it was this past month. In this month's subscription box, I got this cute little pot of gold toy. It's a pulley and a little hide and has all kinds of danglies on it. It also came with a little snack packet. This month is organic dried peaches, some toy box items, and a toy kit to make a cool boomerang toy. So if you want more information on how to sign up to get your subscription boxes from Morgs and Friends and all the pricing information, you can find that link in the description box below as well as my coupon code. What you really clicked on the video for is this. This is a no sew rosebud vine. So you don't have to be able to sew. All the things that I show you how to do, you don't sew because I don't sew and I'm not probably ever going to because I'm realistic about my abilities. All you need for this is three millimeter plastic chain. You want at least a piece that's as long as you want to make your vine. So if you want a vine that is, you know, four feet long, you need at least four feet of chain three millimeter, not two millimeter. Links in the description box below for vendors that sell toy parts. So if you need the three millimeter chain, you can get that from places like Jessica's Attic. Lots of vendors sell it though. You can also get it on like Etsy and stuff. You also have these little rose buds and the leaves. You can also make your rose buds open up a little bit by trimming some if you want to add it, make it look like it's starting to bloom. Okay, so all you're going to do is you need your three millimeter chain, as many different colors of fleece as you want. So for this specific one, if you wanted to make one that looked exactly like this, you would need three different shades of green, a tan color like this, a brown color, and then I chose to do a multicolor flowers. So I have orange, pink, dark purple, light purple, light yellow, and I think that's all. So you need lots of different colors of fleece. I have no idea what what amount to tell you to get, to be honest. I'm terrible at that, so sorry. 
And then you need to be strategic about how you cut your fleece pieces. So you're gonna need fleece pieces for the actual tying of the rosebud. You're going to cut your fleece the stretchy way. So you have your fleece, there's a way that when you pull on it, it stretches more. You wanna cut it to where it's stretchy. You cut a thin piece about the width of your finger and then you're going to pull it and it becomes a glider safe string. So you're gonna use that to tie up your rosebud. So then you're also going to need some pieces of color fleece for the rosebud. So to make the rosebud, you need a piece like this and then also your stretchy string piece that you cut, okay? This is not stretchy this way, it is stretchy this way. You're going to roll up your fleece piece like a sleeping bag See, like that you're going to tie it you want to have the string long enough that you have extra length on here you're going to tie it two times so it doesn't come undone you can also take your scissors and cut little slits around the rosebud so that it looks like it's opening up a little bit you can even round off the corners if you want to be super OCD or you can leave it just like that because really from a distance you can't tell but those are the options there and then what you're gonna do is when you have your chain, you're going to, oh, hold on. I gotta tell you about the leaves. Okay, hold on. Okay, so for your leaf pieces, you're gonna have something that looks like this. So it's about the length of your hand. It does not have to be precise. You just want it to be thick enough that when you push it through the chain hole, that it doesn't just easily come out. You want it to be fairly tight if you have it a little bit more narrow, then you can actually put two leaves per hole. So it actually makes it more full. So just play around with it. There's no right or wrong way to do it. The one that I showed you, probably every other uh, hole had two in, and then sometimes it just had one uh, thicker one in. So you're gonna have these. The stretchy on this, again, is the more narrow way. The length does not stretch. Then you also are going to need some pieces for your rosebud. So now these are just the leaves. So you're going to have the three shades of green, the tan, and the brown in these leaves. For a length that I showed you, you're going to need about 150 leaves. And you can just cut long strips and then just... That makes sense? Okay. Okay, now you're also going to either cut a long piece. I like to make the edges angled like that so it looks more like a leaf. And then once you have your rosebud, this is really not complicated, but I'm making it sound complicated. Once you have your rosebud, you're going to use the extra string to tie your rosebud onto one of the three millimeter chain links. Once it's tied, double tied, double knotted, then you're going to take your longer piece and you're going to tie it in a knot around the middle of the rosebud in a double knot. So it just looks like the leaves. But really what it's doing is it's taking that long piece that we rolled up like a sleeping bag and kind of dividing it in a half and it looks like a rosebud from either side. Let me show you another. So that was a little bit shorter one. This is like a longer one. See what that looks like? You can tie two, uh, pieces like this one was longer so I did two pieces to kind of get you know hide the middle length a little bit. For the leaves that you're going to be tying around your rosebud you can do two things. You can do a long piece that is not stretchy but you have to make sure it's nice and long so you can really pull it tight and double knot it or you can do a stretchy side piece. It's thicker than the string that we made right so it's gonna be about two fingers thick. And when you then when you, you don't have to have it quite as long though because it will actually stretch to tie around. So there's no right or wrong there. Just make sure that if you're going to not have it be the stretchy side, that it is long enough to tie around. Stretchy side, see how, see the difference? So this is the stretchy one, this is the non-stretchy. Every piece of fleece has a stretchy and a non-stretchy. So if you cut it to where it's not stretchy, that's the, that's the length it's gonna get. 
if you cut it to where it is stretchy, you can actually end up using less fleece that way because it will actually stretch. So you tied your rosebud onto the, directly onto the chain, and then you stick your leaf piece also in that chain link that you tied it onto. And then you also put in all the other chain links. You don't really have to do a pattern. I would do it kind of randomly. Oh, also make sure that before you even get started, you deburr your chain. So you want to take some flush cutters or some fingernail file trimmers and cut off any piece of the three millimeter chain that feels rough or is pokey. Because even though you're gonna be covering this up, this is a reset toy. So gliders that like to be destructive can actually pull these out and then take them into their sleeping pouch and nest with them. Mine don't really do that, but some gliders do. So you wanna make sure that that chain is deburred and it's nice and safe. This one uh, does not, obviously this is like orange. You really can't see the chain. So it doesn't really matter what color chain you use. And then you're also gonna need some C-links with a link lock to hang it and put it in the cage. All right, well, hopefully that wasn't clear as mud. Hopefully that was uh, not too confusing, but that's what you'd end up with if you did that. So, <coughs> have a nice day. Yeah, talk to you later. Bye.